Hey guys, Jerry Hibber Cole Banker and ask the real estate professional.ca. I'm changing the URL. I'm trying to drive people to my Facebook page if they have any questions or real estate inquiries and whatnot. And so that URL will bring you directly to my Facebook page. Anyway, today guys, I'm going to have a little bit of a rant uh, about a particular situation that I'm running into and, and all agents will run into uh, periodically, which is the discrepancy between what uh, agents that are coming through your particular listings uh, are saying and what neighbors uh, or free clients uh, say, people that are looking uh, to buy or sell their own home but don't have their own agent yet. So they're, they're coming through an open house or agents are coming in with buyers uh, with viewings. And what's important to understand is that we have two um, diverging motivations here. So the scenario is is that the agents are telling me my uh, the listing is overpriced and the neighbors or free or loose clients are telling me that the property is underpriced. Now, how can they be so far apart? But you have, what's important to understand is that the agent's motivation is based upon the representation of their uh, their client, their buyer. They want the price to come down, so that's what they're going to tell me. The the neighbors or the loose clients, their motivation is based upon the fact that they may sell a house, uh, they may have a house that they want to sell in the neighborhood, and so naturally they want the price to be higher. Also, the neighbors, uh, loose clients, those people are looking not at the sale prices, they're looking at the asking prices, not knowing the difference, uh, that the fact that these are selling, in some cases, much lower. So what, what frustrates me, uh, sometimes when filtering feedback to, a, to an owner, is that we spend a lot of time sitting down and analyzing comparables to say, this is what your house will sell for. Um, and the majority of, of owners sometimes are looking at the asking prices going, well, I want to try here. And that's fine, Danny, it's a certain marketing approach. But what's important to recognize is that if you're getting feedback that is of two diverging uh, levels, then it's because of their diverging interests. One is representing a buyer who wants to get the price down. One has a property that they may be interested in selling in the neighborhood who wants the price to go up. But what, what's important to take from this, guys, is that it doesn't matter what you want to get for your house or uh, what you want uh, your client to pay for. It matters based upon the comparables. It matters upon what has sold in that neighborhood, and most likely it'll be within that box, making adjustments for variations in different properties, of course. Anyways, hope you found it a little bit interesting. Not too annoying. Um, of course, if you have any questions, uh, you can always find me at asktherealestateprofessional.ca, the Facebook page, of course, and you can always email me. It's jerry at the Thanks so much for watching.